Welcome to the Powercast with Charlie Johnson. I'm one of the world's leading fitness and transformation coaches. I'm going to be providing you with the tools to build your ultimate body and mind. Yo, what's up, guys? So happy Monday morning. Welcome to another episode of the Powercast. Today, I'm going to be running through why it's so important you need to ask for help, and this is the key to success in your life. Firstly, though, I want to announce the winner um, of a free coaching call with myself. So you can discuss absolutely anything you want in terms of getting the best results and leading the best life you can. So every week at the moment, I am running a competition for whoever leaves a five-star review on the podcast on iTunes, wins a free coaching call directly with myself. And the winner of this week's uh, review is Call Me Luke. By the username he's dropped on iTunes. So uh, call me Luke, whoever you are, if you can drop me a message and we'll get your call booked in in terms of the coaching call. Um, so now we're going to go into asking for help and why, why this is so, so important. So like in the last five years, three to five years, I've made more progress probably than the last 15 years in my life. And the reason for that is that now I'm open-minded and I ask for help in every aspect of my life. When I was younger, maybe late teens, early 20s, the biggest mistake I ever made was just not asking for help and not being open-minded and not being concerned what people would think of me asking for help. Because I think a lot of people think asking for help in terms of, say, training or nutrition or for advice in terms of business, relationships, anything to do with life is a sign of weakness. And that's actually a sign of strength as a leader. Opening yourself up and showing your vulnerability shows your true inner self, and that's a real strength. So the best thing you can ever do is ask for help, and what's ultimately going to hold you back the most in life is you essentially not having the knowledge you need to achieve your goals. And how are you going to get the knowledge? By learning from people. And how do you learn from people? By asking for help. So you see where we're going from here. So I, I ramble on this about a lot, but my in terms of my physique transformation from I've always trained a lot. So from the age of 15, probably when I first went to the gym and I went and I trained for four hours. I went in there, did every single exercise, every machine, about 10 sets of everything. And then went to KFC and then ate a family bucket of chicken thinking that was the best thing to do for some reason. Then felt very sick and then did the same thing the next day. And I slowly learned, obviously, that wasn't the right way to do things and improve from there. And things did progress. However, I was still too egotistical. I don't know if egotistical is the right word, but too narrow-minded in terms of, and maybe it was, it was a sign of insecurity that I didn't want to open up and ask people for help and advice to make myself better in terms of training, nutrition, and my knowledge. Now, that being said, asking for help is... A big step and like you should commend yourself for reaching out to anyone to ask for help but in terms of who you ask for help the only issue I have nowadays with social media is that there is almost a form of paralysis because there's so much information put out there and unfortunately a lot of the information now is slightly debatable from certain sources and particularly like information if it's obviously mainly a fitness podcast but in the gym if you're training you hear Joe Big Joe down the gym does X, Y bench press in, does it in the power act, for example, on the leg floor. That means that's what we've all got to do. That's not right. So you don't have to listen to Joe down the gym or whatever. I would find whoever is the most knowledgeable person, you know, not necessarily myself. Like I, I, I obviously know something, but I know nothing. And the point you think, you know, everything, you know, nothing, which I now understand. But what I really want from you guys is to educate yourselves and, Don't buy into the BS that you might see on social media or that Big Joe does down the gym. Try and find real, genuine people who want to help you and aren't just financially driven and just want to make a quick buck, but actually want to transform your life, add value to you, and have an impact. Like I did an exercise on Tuesday. I had, um, again, talking about asking for help. Uh, You guys probably will know a very close friend of mine, Chris Spearman. So me and Chris go way back when he first came over to the UK uh, we start training together, became best friends, and he's now like one of my closest friends. Guy's phenomenally intelligent and driven, and he inspires me on a daily basis with his work ethic. His work ethic is, I probably don't know anyone who works so hard, dude like sleeps like three hours a day, which isn't something I would recommend. And I have said that to him, to be fair, because again, like I'll be straight up with him. But I, I've reached out to Chris recently to help me in terms of business because I know 
his business skills are stronger than mine in terms of structure, systems, processes. So in terms of that, I will open myself up and ask for help for someone like Chris because I want to improve myself and be the best that I can be. And that again, showing that vulnerability, that's not a vulnerability, that's a strength. That's a strength of mine as a leader that I can show that I'm open-minded and that open-minded and that I will go to someone else to learn, acquire their knowledge. And as I already said earlier, what's going to lead me to achieving success and achieving every goal I ever want in my life is knowledge. So once I've acquired that knowledge, I have that gift of knowledge for life that I can then take on, uh, take on some of the goals and to achieve whatever I want. I digress slightly, but where I was coming back to in terms of uh, an exercise earlier in the week and being careful who you follow in terms of social media. We did an interesting exercise between myself, Chris, you guys will know my good friend, uh, best mate, Michael Reed, aka Built, Built by Fitness, and also um, a chap called Dan Porter as well, who works for Chris. We did an exercise, and one of the questions was, uh, what would you have on your gravestone? And for me, what would I have? It's not how many social media followers I have, it's not how much money I make. That, for me, I, I couldn't really care less. For me, I want impact. I want to impact every single person that I come across in the world who meets me, who sees anything I do, reads anything I do, sees my captions, videos. I want to have an impact and a positive impact on people's lives and try and spread a positive message that you can go and achieve whatever you want. But again, you just have to like want it and get the knowledge and ask people for help to help you. In terms of like me personally, what's helping me keep progressing and helping me manage myself essentially is again asking for help constantly so my biggest battle at the moment is with my own mind like everyone has self-doubt whoever you are how successful you are people might look at me and think like you've got great not like i'm saying i have this but great physique you've got a great business you've got a beautiful wife you've got everything you want but i still suffer with self-doubt everyone does you all feel like you have imposter syndrome that you're not worthy. Like for me, that just drives me to make me want to work harder and then prove, show my core values more and coming back to again, providing impact to the world, which is why I put out so much content in terms of like podcasts like this, YouTube videos, Instagram, because I want to help you guys try and leave the best life and not make the mistakes I've made. made. And when it comes to making mistakes, the biggest mistake you will ever make is not asking for help. Literally every single area of my life, I have a form of mentor or a coach or someone who's helping me. So for example, obviously I've already referred to my great friend Chris is helping me in terms of my business and my systems and structure with everything like that, which will help greatly with in terms of anxiety and stress on my side of things because my greatest strength, which is also my greatest weakness, is my uh, ability of getting shit done and speed of implementation of anything. But then that also comes with the fact that I'm a bit of a half ass Harry with stuff sometimes. So like admin and things like that aren't necessarily my strong point, which is why you find someone who, for example, can balance you out and then you, you take their knowledge, their information, and that will make you a stronger individual. So that's just one example. But for example, today I've just come back from training. And at the moment, you guys might have seen my Instagram story. I've got big Rob Cannon at MuscleWorks in Orbiton training me. Now, I'm a world-class trainer and I've got someone helping me. Have you guys got anyone helping you? I question that. Like for me, I want to like push myself as hard as I can to progress physically, but then also every session, say for example, with Rob, he's getting an extra 10% out of me, but I'm also learning because you can learn from every single person. So today I learned from a couple of different exercises we did, just moving different movements, rep schemes. And again, I'm acquiring more knowledge. The more knowledge I have, the more knowledge I can pass on to help my clients to get even more world-class results and the bigger the impact I can have on the world. That again comes back to my core value. So for you guys, like think about whatever your core values are in life, whether it be have a family, provide like, a stable household, whatever it is you want, think about what you have on your gravestone, what will make you happy. And that is what you need to work towards and try and reverse engineer back to that. But again, the big thing that I come back to is it's all about asking for help to try and improve yourself to lead the best life you can lead. Like that's the biggest mistake so many people make. And okay, so with some things you may well have, like obviously I, I pay Rob to train me and that's going to cost me something. But is it going to help me get faster from A to B to build a better physique? 
build more knowledge, help my clients more. A hundred percent, a million percent. There's no doubt. Whenever I've spent any money on myself, I have, it's never been, never not been worth it because the greatest investment you will ever make in your life is in yourself. And if you're not willing to invest in yourself to improve your knowledge, your body, then what are you willing to invest in? Because your body is your vessel and vehicle for life and your mind is, is there with you for life. And you need to build your body and your mind to be the greatest asset that you could ever have. And if you're not willing to invest in that, then I question what you're willing to invest in. So my biggest tip for anyone today on this Monday is ask for help. Don't have too much of an ego and be open-minded. Like I'm always looking to learn and trying to be like a sponge. I'm constantly investing in myself, trying to surround myself with positive minded people to again, help me achieve my core value of providing impact into the world, helping you guys to lead the best life you possibly can. And then to keep progressing and providing positivity. If you guys need any help from me directly, you want to reach out and ask for help, by all means, drop me a direct message on Instagram or an email or in the link below in regards to any coaching or anything like that. Hope you crush this week. I'm looking forward to Christmas and keep pushing and working hard. Again, as always, I'll be running a competition this week. So whoever leaves a five-star review and also tags and shares this podcast in their stories or on Facebook, being within the chance of winning a free coaching call with myself. So get into this week, get crushing it, guys. And I look forward to hearing from you all soon.